There are tons of resources out there if you're trying to teach online. I've been teaching online for the last 13 years. I'm gonna show you the five best tools that I use to be effective online. Number one is WhatsApp. Now this is really important for me because I need a direct line to my students that's not the live online platform, that's not just email where my students aren't necessarily. I need to work with my students where they are, which is on their phones, and I can reach them through this platform. What's nice about WhatsApp is that it's fully encrypted and it's an international platform. It works anywhere for free. And it's just that really great way of directly reaching your students apart from their text messages or again, the emails and things that they don't necessarily use. So I've got it up on the screen here. It's a really simple platform to download. You can communicate with your students Make sure you follow your school's policies about phone usage and social media usage. Whatever channel you use, whether it's WhatsApp or something else, find some direct way to communicate with all of your students at once. Number two, Google Docs. This is so easy. So many of us use this already, but think about what Google Docs is. It's a low bandwidth activity students can use on their phones or on their computers, and you can have 50 people editing a document together. That may be a little bit chaotic, but you can be in one place. Let's take a look at this Spanish paper on my screen. You can see that you can follow not only what everyone in the document is doing, but also look at the comment history that everyone has basically done. You can, if you press here, you can see every every change that I have made, that every other editor has made. You can really monitor your students' behavior inside of this document. Build a discussion board right inside this document. You don't need specialized software for this. If your students are writing essays for a class, maybe they can build it paragraph by paragraph. You could even have one browser filled with four different Google Docs open. You divide a section of 20 students into four groups of five, and you can watch what those students are doing. They can chat with one another inside of this platform. All the communication, all the group work, all the editing, is in one place. I love Google Docs. Number three is the AWW app. Now this is an online whiteboard. It's got a free version and a premium version, but the free version is gonna be really useful for those of you teaching math or science or any subject where you want students working on a problem together. So I've just made a blank board. It's very easy to add students. I'm gonna press this green button and you see this board link right here. I can copy the link and then send it to my students by email or by WhatsApp, whatever way I'm communicating with them. Then all your students are here looking at the same board. Notice you can draw on the board pretty easily. It's a little awkward to do, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Another thing you can do is you take a screenshot of a problem, you can import it in and then write on that. So it's a really valuable way of literally getting all of your students to look at one thing. And what's also great about this app is there's no video, no audio. It's not an all-in-one solution, but it's a great place to have your students' eyes locked under the same resource. Number four is Skype. Skype's one of the most popular video platforms out there. A lot of your students already have an account. Definitely use Skype if a lot of your students are plugged in. Those who are not will need to download the app separately, which is a bit of an inconvenience, but Skype's completely free. It doesn't put a lot of restrictions, and it also lets you share your screen with your students, which is really important. Number five is Zoom which like Skype is a video conferencing platform. Now this is really great because you don't have to download the full app the way you do for Skype, but there is a free version and a premium version. So if you're using the free version of Zoom, you have to work within the constraints. What I like about Zoom is it lets me share my screen. So if I have a slide deck, I can pull that PowerPoint right up in front of my students and get everyone looking at the same thing. Remember when you're teaching online, you want to follow a few simple rules. You want a direct line of communication with your students. That's why I would use WhatsApp. You want a way for students to collaborate and work together. That's what's great about Google Docs. You also want to be able to focus everyone's attention on the same thing. So that's where AWW app comes in and some of these video sharing platforms like Skype and Zoom that allow you to share your screen and have your students looking at a document or PowerPoint or PDF and focusing on one thing together. So these are my five favorite resources for teaching online, but what do you use? Let me know in the comments what resources have helped you communicate with your students. And also, I'm gonna be posting new videos based on each of these platforms that walk you through how to be effective as an online teacher. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can see when these videos arrive.